doing? Good, how are you? Oh, hello. You know what? I heard, I saw that name and I half expected somebody to be from like Latin America or something like that, like an accent of some sort. And that accent is not Latin American. No, I'm, I'm, I'm from Birmingham. <laughs> not, not that there's anything wrong with a Birmingham accent. I love a good Birmingham Does accent. Does it sound so, Latino then? No, your name was, I saw, I only saw the name and your name is, uh, Maria, oh, Martina. Maria, Mar Maria Martina just sounds like exotic. I'm not, please take this the right way. No, I'm not well, saying no, you're not exotic. I'll do, I'll do what you mean. Do you know, I know what you mean, do, yeah. Do you know when you're expe an expectation is like, you know, you see a name, you think, oh, that's going to be somebody from like South America or something. And you look like you could be from South America. And then wow, the accent comes out. You have 260,000 well, followers. I'm quite famous. Do you not know who I am? I no, you don't know who I am. Why am I saying? Profession. I am, yeah, I am. Who, who are anyway. you? Oh, don't worry. No one knows who I am. I'm not that famous, really, to be fair. Who anyway, look. Sixty thousand. Maria. Pounds. I have a pop few eleven thousand eight hundred people. Yeah, but well, when did you pop start? Pop. But when did you start? I don't know, like two years. Oh my god! Hang on, and now I'm going to tell you really honestly. So in two years, you've only got eleven thousand eight hundred followers. What have you been doing? Not a lot. I've been, I've been working every single day to to grab every penny I can get. So when <sighs> by the time I get home, I'm a hot, sweaty mess, and I'm tired and knackered. I'm hungry, and I think the last thing I want to do is do my makeup and sit in front of a fucking camera. So what? So let me ask you, why are you sat in front of a fucking camera now then? <laughs> You've got four days off, babes. Yeah, <laughs> four days off. Hey, look, I've four been days off work. So, look, I've been on TikTok for four years. I've done loads of stuff on it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not famous by any stretch of the imagination, but I am the best TikToker on here. Okay, so I, okay, I don't beg for. You then, but you better I, 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 don't, back. I will. I will. I don't beg for money. And I'm not. I'm not after live matches. I just play a really simple game. I play your card right. If you get ten cards in a row correct, because you're going to play now, yeah. If okay. You get ten cards in a row correct, then you get a free video shout out to my few thousand followers. You might get an extra four followers. How does that sound? Yeah, sounds good. Let's go. I feel. I feel bad now. I don't look my best. I'm going to shave or anything. I look, look a bit rough. You know what I mean? But anyway, okay. So I'm going to give you a follow back. Okay. Ooh. How old you? You are over eighteen, aren't you? I'm twenty eight. You're never 28. I'm really? 28. Yeah, I'm 28. getting old. Who, who, who's there with you in your own? No, I'm on my own. I need mean, my empty I... glass of Prosecco. Hang on a minute. We'll go. Do you want to fill that up again while you play the game? No, you're all right. I've only got a bit left. That means I'll have to go to the shop. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> 10 to 10. <laughs> how, is, how are you on your own on, on a night when you've got that time off? I'm okay. There's, yeah, I'm there's okay. no Mister. There's no Mister or Missus. No, I've got a husband, but he's never here. Well, where is he? He's out. He's he's gone away for three days, so I'm just left on my own. <laughs> I know, but this is why I come on TikTok just so I've got someone to talk to. How sad is that? Uh, that's I I can't even give you an answer to that one. To be fair, because I, I no, actually honestly, feel bad it's for fine. you. Honestly, it's fine. It's fine. Are you are you happy with that though? Uh, not always. Not always. What do you do? What do you do for a day? I know you. I I work all day as well, but I I always make time to find time to come on and chat to people because I like doing that anyway. I like to talk. What do you do as a day job? I work in a. I work in a. I work in a hotel. Oh, okay. Okay. You'd have to give it, okay, you didn't have to give us a name because that means you're going to get stalked. Somebody's going to go and knock on your door and find out where you are now. But the good news really? is you've got five people. I've only got five question, people into your account. Of course you can. Yeah? Should I not tell people my exact location? So should I give them, like... <laughs> no, I don't give them my... I don't give them my exact location. I don't say I'm exactly at, I don't know, like... McDonald's. Yeah, don't say anywhere, it's fine. Yeah, okay. I yeah, just yeah. say, like, I am from Birmingham, but I live Birmingham in Wales. Birmingham is fine. Wales, but I just say South Wales. Hang on, hang on. Are you from Birmingham or Wales? Well, I'm from Birmingham, but I live in Wales. Okay, you can tell people where you're from in terms of where you are in the country. I'm from Liverpool originally, but I live in Cambridgeshire. So that's all I tell people. Don't give them the address, don't give them the village, no, don't, don't give them the I town, don't, don't like give that. anything like that. 
No, because no, you know what? There are some weird people on the internet. There really are some weird people know, on the internet. So, so just just be careful, you know. And you're not an, you're not an ugly girl. You're a pretty girl. So you just be careful. Honestly, you need to watch yourself. And what did your husband? Sorry, you were in a hotel. What did your husband do? Is a is a he works in the church. What do you mean he works in the? Does he is he a, is he an engineer church the minister? church? He's a minister. Yeah, and I'm a pastor's wife. Believe it or not. <laughs> I love that, you know what uh, of all of the things that you could have told me <laughs> that you did and he did that was not what I was expecting I know. Now, now now I don't fit now I don't feel bad that he's away he's obviously away on a retreat of some description yeah he's on like a conference uh, event sort of thing so he's not out cheating <laughs> <laughs> because it'd be against the law wouldn't it really yeah, against the, against, against the rules down. Is he is, yeah. he is he is he is he is he Catholic or is he uh, Protestant? Oh, I'm boiling up. No, um Don't take anything off, it's not that type of lie. <laughs> no, 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 okay? no, no. I don't I, honestly I'm the most lied back person you'll ever meet. Oh good. Uh, it's like Pentecostal church, it's like modern day Christianity. Oh I get it. Okay, ble- Oh it's, it's his own church. Yeah, so we run two churches. Does he say things like Hallelujah, Lord Jesus and stand up and clap his hands? Yeah. Honestly, he went on a retreat not long ago, bless him. Yeah. And uh, he had such an encounter, and obviously I have to work a normal job in the world. But he came back, and we met two people from our church, and we went to Toby Carvery, right? Everybody's just sitting there eating their roast potatoes, including me. He wanted to get up on the chair and start shouting repent. And I turned around to him, I was like, sit the fuck. Down Who, now. This is your husband wants to yeah. do this. And I said, sit the fuck down now. I said, people are trying to eat the roast potatoes. Do you uh, is he twenty eight as well or is he like forty five? No, it's like no, no, it's like thirty three. It's thirty three. Hang on, he's still he's still you said you're twenty nine, yeah? I'm 28, he's 33. 28, 33, that's uh, five years, okay. When did you meet? Uh, so we've been married seven years. Yeah, so like eight years ago. Eight years, and okay, how did you meet? Did you meet in the church or did you meet somewhere else? So I first met him on Don't the tell me you were a lap dancer or you were a No, no, right no, <laughs> no, never done anything like that. I would have been making a lot more money. <coughs> yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> well, you met on... Did you just say you met on the tri- on the streets? I met him on the street. Okay, hang on, hang on. I, I, I'm going to play the game anyway, but I'm really interested because <laughs> it's, it's not what I was, it's not the way I was expecting the conversation to go, so I'm really interested. Okay. So what, what do you mean you met him on the street? What were you, you weren't doing anything bad on the street. No, so let me give you a quick story. So my sister became a Christian. Yeah. And I was in a really abusive relationship, right? Oh, yeah, you shouldn't be in those, yeah? No. And she became a Christian and she said to me, I've been praying for you for two years, but at this point I didn't believe in God. And I said, God can go, you know, fuck off, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I was in a really bad relationship, got in like £5,000 worth of debt. And basically I was living in a hostel and the guy I was dating was cheating on me with my best friend. Oof, and that what? night, oh, I was dear. basically going to commit suicide. And oh, at 12 wow. o'clock, a staff member comes to your door, knocks on your door to check that you're okay. But at 12 o'clock, I was planning to be dead. And this is a true story. And anyway, um, I sat on the edge of my bed and I kept saying, the Lord is my shepherd. And I didn't know why I was saying it. That night, I fell asleep. I woke up and I was like, I'm supposed to be dead now. I don't know why I'm alive. Then I had a text message from my sister and she said, come to church, blah, blah, blah. I never told her what happened. But when I got to church, a woman ran up to me and she was like, I had a vision of you. And I was like, what are you on about? And she was like, I saw what happened that night in your bedroom. She said, <gasps> Jesus was knocking on your door. And I was like, nah. And I knew she wasn't lying because she explains everything, what I was wearing, how I was going to kill myself, blah, blah, blah. And then... um. I said, I accept, I accept the Lord. And eight wow. months later, I got baptised. I learned about the Holy Spirit. 
I walked into Birmingham City Centre. There was a big crowd of people. I walked over. They were all talking about Jesus. So I stopped to listen and I was like, I've just met this guy called Jesus. He's absolutely changed my life. And then I prayed to God, my first ever prayer, and I said, can I have a man of God like that? And then uh, I, I didn't talk to him, went away for six months. My sister got a flat outside his church. And then we met, just like that. Now we're married. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Crazy story. Do, do you know what... I I wasn't expecting this conversation to go this no. way. And what I know, what I'm, some, I'm a bit of a joker as well. So normally at some point in that conversation, I was thinking, is it the right time to make a joke? And I thought, no, because it's definitely a true story. Yeah. And it's a very sincere story as well. So yeah. I, I, what, I do, what I've done on TikTok before is I've interviewed other TikTokers, either A, if they've got, you know, over 100,000 followers, to let people know how they got their followers and mm. give people a bit of advice live like this or interesting stories. And what you just told me is quite moving. I yeah. get quite emotional. I, I get quite emotional as well. Um, it's quite yeah. moving and it's a really lovely story. And, yeah. you know, I always say don't judge a book by its right. cover. Exactly. And, and, you know, if, 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 when I, again, look, two things. When I came on, I was expecting somebody Latino from a different country <laughs> uh, and on comes you. And you do look a bit, you do look a bit exotic, you know, and you've got this, this, this uh, look about you that is from Birmingham. All mm. in Wales, uh, and you've got this amazing story of yeah. how you found God, and you literally found God. You, know, you literally found, found him yeah. on death's door. Here's the thing. Here's what I was thinking when you first told me that you were alone for four days and your husband wasn't there. My really? initial, my initial thought was, what an idiot! Why would he be away from this woman for four yeah. days? Because she, yeah. she looks amazing. She, she oh. looks fantastic, and I bet she's lovely. You know, why would you leave her for four days? I mean, you'd be at home four days, just enjoying yourself, wouldn't you? Really, to be fair. But, yeah. um, but obviously, when you then told me the next bit of the story, I thought, wow, no, it's his heart, not, obviously, yeah. exactly in the right place. And he, oh no, look. I think that's an amazing story, and what I hope you don't mind what I'm going to do. No, I'm going to use fine. this little. I'm going to use this little bit of video, and I'll put it on my. I'll put it on my TikTok. I'll put it on my YouTube channel because I think it's a really moving story that people definitely. Want to hear. And I uh, think and then, faith is is so needed right now because people yeah. are so low, and they don't have nothing like nothing in life, and. My my husband met God in prison. That's the last place you would think God would go. But yeah. Jesus is a lover of sinners. Yeah. Let me tell. I'll tell you a little story about myself as well. So I have a bit of a a, a church story too. So um, we've got a little boy called Hugo. If you check out my TikToks, he he does he does stuff on there. He's got his own YouTube channel. He's a he's a little he's a little superstar in the making basically. Mm. Um, but uh, he get I don't know who he gets it off. To be fair, no idea. Um, but um, he's a, an IVF baby. So okay. we try five rounds of IVF for him. Uh, um, uh, and we ch we got my wife and I got married in a in a, a, a like a castle. Actually, I'll tell you, I know the castle doesn't really matter. And um, you know, have you ever have you seen the Crown the series The Crown on Netflix? Yeah, if you, I've if seen you haven't it seen it, pause, but I've not watched it. Okay, so a lot of the footage is shot at a place called Beaver Castle, which is Belvoir Castle in Leicestershire. My wife and I got married there. 23 years ago uh, we, when they first started doing weddings but uh, but we got married not in a church and um, so when we were when we were um when we were couldn't when we had our third round of IVF we we, we thought it was because we didn't get married in a church mm. you know because we got when we were thinking God was punishing us in some way yeah yeah so so we found a church and a minister uh we're we're protestants so we found a church we got baptized we spent you know a year in church and we do go to church on on, on a semi-regular base at the moment yeah. uh, but literally the, the next round of IVF we had we had a miscarriage uh, and then the one after that we got hugo you know and it's uh it's like it, yeah. And you sit and you think, you sit and you think, was that actually the reason why we got our little boy, you know, or or is that just rubbish, you know? But yeah. you can't fault 
that we tried three times before it hadn't happened and then once we'd started going to church and you know going to see the minister and spending time there that we um yeah. that we got him you know and he's he's amazing he's it's like his own little like his own little whirlwind of fun you know and i'm i'm 54 that i'm 55 this year actually to be fair and he's um he's like keeps me young you know it's brilliant How uh, so now? he's eight He's eight. Yeah. yeah, he play he plays for he plays for um the, the local ice hockey team. He plays in the under tens. So he's a he's a little you know, a little active one. He loves YouTube, he wants to be a YouTuber, that's what he wants to do, you know. So he's got his own little personality, which is brilliant. So look, I tell you what I do, Maria, I, until I because I'll start crying if I carry on like that. So oh, uh, you let me we'll cry. Go- <laughs> we're, go- we're gonna play the game okay, and then what i'll do i'll okay. cut the game out and i'll i hope you don't mind but i'm gonna put this whole video that we've had a little no, conversation fine, honestly, on, you, on, you, on youtube is that o- is that okay yeah, yeah i'll tell you when it's on okay that. right so let's play the game the game's easy i've got the cards okay. here okay. okay 10 cards in a row correct uh aces are low kings are high <laughs> and if you uh, yeah exactly yeah and if you get <laughs> if you get if you get a pair you get you get knocked out straight away, but like, look out for some visual clues. Or but I'm not very clever. Neither am I. Don't worry. I'll help you out anyway. <laughs> or or cosmic clues because the universe Everybody is on your side. Everybody, tell me in the comments. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. So what's about to fir- do? Love it. So your your first cards are ten. So yeah. you need to guess whether the next card is going to be higher or lower than a ten. Uh, okay. What do you think? Lower. Oh, that's a great that's a great guess you know because now you're gonna think of this right so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine you've got nine cards lower ten would knock you out another ten would knock you out and then above it you've got jack queen king and you've got three cards you've got nine or three so that's a good a good idea you went lower yeah yeah lower than a ten it is it is a six. Ooh. Get in, right? You're off. You've only got eight more to go. So, oh, do the God. next one. Do the next one is going to be higher or lower than a six? What do I do, guys? Uh, higher or lower than a six? Uh, I'm gonna go lower. Lower than a six? Are you sure? I don't know. Mark. Oh, no, no, you, you've got you've got, on, you've got God on you've got God on your side, so something's obviously right. So here we go. It is a four. Get <laughs> in. Well done. That was a tricky one, that because it should have been higher. You know, should have been higher. Okay, go on. What do the next one going to be? Higher or this is a very exciting game. It's the exciting part of the show. Well done. You will get a bit heated. <laughs> How Can many viewers have you got at the moment? I only only seven. I, I don't have many. Come on, to be fair, oh, but I, I don't. It's not about it's not about that for me. Um, <laughs> Where'd you get your eyebrows done? Are they tattooed or are they just they're drawn on? No, they're tattooed on. Luda, my daughter does that actually, to be fair. She just tattooed eyebrows. Oh, does uh, she? She's just um, ombre blo- ombre yeah, brows these, or something. Yeah, these are ombre. That's, I thought that it's really odd for a bloke to say, but I thought they looked familiar. <laughs> right, guys, what do we do next? Higher or lower? Higher or uh, lower, come on. Okay, so the next one, higher or lower? So you, you've only got three, two and a one. You've got three cards lower. I'm gonna go higher. Get in a Woo-hoo! queen for a queen for a queen. Well done. There Woo! we go. Okay. What okay. Next, come guys? on. Higher or lower than a queen? Even you got a king that can be higher. To be fair. So where are you gonna go? Lower. Lower than a lower than a queen. It is. It's a ten. Right. What next, everybody. Maria, oh, is your name? I don't your know your the real cards. name is. I only is your know real name. Cards. Is your real name Maria? That is your real name. Yeah. Yeah. And is that your real surname? Yeah, Maria. It's my real name. No, Maria Martina. Is that your surname? No, my married name is something else. But I'll yeah, don't worry, don't worry. On here. And obviously, ninety-four is your year of birth. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Can I just recommend that you change that? Just get rid of the ninety-four. Really? It gives it gives people too much information. I could have got. I, I bet. I bet I could have found you with just Maria Martina ninety four. So just be careful on that. I'll tell you about that later. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway. Okay. So go on. Higher or lower than a ten? Can I just say I'm not a stalker by the way. I'm not going to come and find no, you. No, no, it's fine. I, 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 like I like to. I like to. I like to. I like to give give people good advice. Okay. Oh, higher or lower than a ten? I'm not going lower, everyone. I only know how to play snap. 
I don't know how this to is play. It's a sort of this. It's just higher on level. Have you not seen play your card right on telly? Lower than a 10, it is a 6. Well done, Maria. Okay. Well done. So what okay. now, Darren? What do we do now, Darren? Do we go higher or lower? Who's Darren? Huh? Who's Darren? Oh, I'm a friend. I talk to everyone in here. She's got a friend. Okay. Got a friend so called people Darren. Are people are telling me to go higher. It is higher. Ah! Get in. Well done. Well done. I'm done, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'll be so All right. if I win. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got three more to get, Maria, and you are my last game tonight because it's oh after 10 o'clock and I've got, I've got to go to sleep because I've got work tomorrow. So uh, higher or lower than a king? Right, guys, what should I do? Okay, people are telling me to go lower. <laughs> well, the bad news for you is you're right, you're right in the middle. It is right in the middle, that one. But you've only got... You've only got two cards left to go. Two cards, right, guys, and you're gonna get you get a video what, shout out. Guys, what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I going higher or lower? What do I do now? What do I do? What do I do? Darren, what Maria, do I do? What Maria, do I think do? what the Lord. What What would the Lord do? Oh, I don't know. The Lord's not a gambler. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, what do I do? Higher or lower? Um. I was out now. Uh, I can't okay, help you this Darren says to go lower. Darren's out. Well, Darren. We like Darren because he's right. Look at yes, that. It Darren. is a three. Get in. Right, you've only got one more to go. One and then I'll do your video shout out. Higher or lower guys. than a three? Am I going higher or am I going lower? Higher or lower? Darren, what do we do? Higher or lower? Okay, Darren says higher. Everyone uh, says are you, higher. Are, are you agreeing with Darren? Yeah, I'll go with Aaron and Darren. Uh, and, have you, uh, do, you only have, do you only have people in your life that rhyme with Darren? <laughs> Darren, Aaron and Sweet Cherry, they're all saying higher. Hi, this is for the win. Don't forget, guys, you've got nine in a row correct so far. Just one more in a row. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go straight into my video shout-out that I'll put on later. You ready? <gasps> Higher than a three it is. It's a Yay! nine. Yay! Get Thank in, you. get in. Get in. Okay, Maria underscore Martina 94 has got Thank 10 you. cards in a row correct on my Play Your Card Drive game. Now, you can go and follow her and follow her. She is very biblical. She is a pastor's wife. Uh, so she is very biblical. So you can go and give her a follow uh, and then go and follow Aww. the church as well at the same time. The universe was in the, in uh, on her side. Make sure you come and tune into my live and you could be the next winner on Play Your Card Right. Oh, right. Maria, I've given you a follow as well. Look, if you need any advice, give me a shout. But I would That's honestly, I'd re I would recommend you have a little look at your name uh, and maybe well, take... Like the sign my age and I tell people I'm 28 anyway. Well, you know, I think I, I'd just be a bit more careful, to be fair, because, you know, it's uh, in, in my life, you've told people that you're you're home alone for four days and you're, uh, you, you you know, you just be careful about what you what you give out because uh, I wouldn't want anything to happen that shouldn't happen because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a father as well. You're about the same age as my daughter, to be fair, you know. So, well, uh, did I have yeah. trouble getting in? Because there's about 20 <laughs> other people that live here. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in a hostel? No, no, I'm in a big block of flats, like apartment place. Oh, wow, okay. So you have to so... bus to get in and then if they bus, oh, like... Really? Everyone knows everyone in here, so I could just knock can, on next door can, and the. Like, can I just ask out. what you what? Can I ask what you wear and what have you got on? Oh, it's like a dressing gown. It's a dressing. Oh, gown. I thought I honestly thought you came on. You had like a big fairy coat on or something. <laughs> I thought was a, no. I thought where's she going? She's on a, on a, on a, out in the Raz. <laughs> no, no, it's a dressing gown. What's your husband's name, by the way? Ashley. 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 Nixon. So look. Pardon? Ashley. Ashley, Ashley did you say? Son, yeah. Okay, so look, when when you when you see Ashley again, tell him I said hello. I will. And if, if next time we're live and you see me live and he and he's with you, I would love to have a chat to him. Okay. Definitely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. All right, look, Maria, and look out for your video tomorrow. It'll take a little time to download, but I'll, no, I'll put fine. it on tomorrow night for you. Thank okay. you so much. All right. Cheers. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Now we weren't expecting that from. I was expecting a Latino.